it appears I'm in the uh, grass cutting mode this morning. I went to feed my son's cats. He's out of town. This is what I found when I got there yesterday. A jungle. Stand by. It's only uh, around noon, so I got plenty of time. From yesterday. God knows. I guess it was a pocket knife or something like a pocket knife. I don't know. Just this pure aluminum crap. And the other rusty thing, I don't know what it was. It went all to pieces the first crack. I don't see anything in there. Well, well. You never know. We're going to go get Denny now. Stand by. Yeah, he's got his kid on a wagon. We're at the cave. It's rough as bricks, which I knew it would be. Beavers to the west of us. He's been to the east of us where he was yesterday, where I was. It's just rough. Stand by. We'll make our move somewhere. Now he's going to go uh, east and I'm going to go west. A little ways. Hope these waves will dry up when the tide gets off. Maybe. So the first dog is a gray matter. Nice one. Nice gray matter. That's like eight scoops deep. I'm going to pin it. Can't tell what it is. Uh. Got a lot of writing on it. Oh, something. No, off, maybe. Yeah, off. Stand by. Look at this black sand, upper black sand area, waiting the tide might drop down. Right there is where that pendant came from. Now I've got two targets. One here, one right here. I've got them both out. Let's go see what they are. The sound's low. Well, whatever it is, is right there. Some kind of brassy looking thing. It's a cannon, I think. Yeah. How cool is that? This is the coolest ticket I've found in a long time. A toy cannon. Look at that. The wheel part's gone. But that's a nice baby right there. <laughs> you never know. That's cool. Stand by. Let's see what this other taquito is. It was lead, a little piece of lead. I got a nice loud sound right here. I mean loud. Maybe a quarter. Might be the first quarter of the day. We just dug a dime. Oh, it's a damn penny it looks like. You turkey legged varmint. Why a penny would be so loud is a dime. So much for that neighborhood. Ten meager cents. Appears to be clad. Yeah. Got a little cut here. This has got a dime out of there and a piece of aluminum, but this is a really nice sound right here. Mixed right in that black sand. Stand by. Come out of there, you little taquito. Got it, I think. Might be a pull tab. I got some fancy pull tabs. The old age kind. Come out of there, little taquito. Oh, it's a nickel of some sort. Stand by. Daddy, he's got a lunar landscape here. He's been digging like crazy. I take this back. This may not be a nickel. light. It's the size of a nickel. 
really thick in one place. Well, this is a really cluttered up nickel. I don't know what this is now. You see it's real thin there and kind of thick on this side. Stand by. Maybe, maybe it's a button. I don't know. But it's cool. There's our barge, you see. Our old wooden barge with all that steel in it. That's where we are. That's where my gold ring came from the other day, right there. I'm looking for another one. Okay, we got two side by side again. We got a loud, a loud coin gray matter sound and a low pull tab, some kind of sound. Let's try this one first. Stubborn, I guess. Whatever it is, it's tiny. fire a little bullet or something. Let's get this loud ticket out now, see what it is. Hello there, Taquito. Yep. You know it's not gray matter, might be a coin. Oh, well, it might be a bullet, too. You turkey leg is larvae. A small caliber bullet. Modern, I presume. Ah, Lee, I thought that was something nice. Stand by for a closer observation. Killer low sound. Killer. I mean, bad. Woo. I don't see uh, anything golden looking, but I see some aluminum looking. Hold on. I'm not sure what this is. Well, this is a fishing bait. Oh, yeah, it is. You see his eyes right down now. A little lead head stuck in there somewhere. <laughs> some kind of old pendant looking thing. Oh, nice. Well, clean up nice. But I think it says pecs on it. Oh yeah. Brian uh, brought me that knife in case I see that kid again. That's a knife he found. Shaped like a gun, you see it? I don't think it's much to that knife. It didn't work too well when I found it. A little bit of water and it was perfect again. Can you see that thing? I think it says PEX. I don't know if it means anything. I think it's a pipe fitting. It goes oh, on PVC pipe. Maybe. That's what it is. I'm thinking it's a, a woman's ring. Yeah, yeah, that's what I found. Ryan, Ryan's you got a dog Bentley with him today. <laughs> what do you got? Copper ring. He's got one too. It's, it's a PVC. Pipe. <laughs> Yeah. Goes on PVC bent. pipe. Yours is, is pristine. Perfect. <laughs> What's your wife's name? Oh, uh, that's Erica right over there. Hey, Erica. Brian's got his wife with you today. Bye. The whole family. And there you go. Bentley and... 
Erica, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're lucky. A lot of wives won't go with us. Yeah, she... Well, as I head home to the edge of the dark on Surf Church Sunday, I got update uh, from Beaver. And me and Denny, we all were goalless today. A little drought has started. It was a bleak day for Surf Church on the bay. Don't know about the land or not, but all the reports from the bay were bleak as far as gold goes. I did end up finding, you saw that cool cannon and, a, and a, some kind of pendant brooch, some kind of doodad thing. I got an update on Denny's ring. That little ring, that gold clash ring he found yesterday that we thought was 1922. Well, in reality, it's 1972. And I forget the name of the school, but I was in the post from last night. That part correct and all that, but the year was uh, 50 years off. So it's 1972. That's all I got for right now. I'm going to leave this big old motor in the truck. I'm going to leave this piece of copper pipe in the truck. And this piece of copper pipe. Mandu's having dinner with me and Jack. Biscuits, pork chops, applesauce. Mmm, stand by. It's called dinner for two nights. Two tonight, two tomorrow night. Mashed potatoes. Tonight and tomorrow night. Bob Evans. The best. If you don't feel like mashing your own. Snack before dinner. Cherries. I like them. Cow juice. I like it too. Mmm. I'm working on the roundup. Look at that great liar. God. Alcohol. Carnivore. Big carnivore. What are you doing? Big carnivore. You're a big carnivore? Say, I'm not too mean anymore, Daddy. Yeah, I'm the big man, cat man do. I'm like a little kitty cat now. Look, I'm a big kitty cat. I'm a big kitty cat now, Daddy. Yes, I am. I'm a house kitty cat. Him and Jack ain't the best of buddies, though. Mm. Getting closer. Round up. Lots of gray matter today. Lots of odds and ends stuff today. There are two tops of brass screws. Three, four dimes. Some kind of, I think, silver pendant brooch. I'm not sure. And then I found this. We have a big grocery chain here. Not as big as it used to be called Giant Open Air Markets. This says official sightseer. Giant open air. I presume it must have had something in the middle of it at one time. You can see there's nothing on the back. And my cannon. Never found a cannon before. Wasn't on my bucket list, but I'm scratching it off. Some wire. You saw the big copper stuff out there. I don't know, seven, eight pennies. Mostly gray matter. I'm not sure where we're going tomorrow. Got a fairly good report from the land of Nada. One gold ticket down there in a junker ring. Uh, fast man found one today. He was east of us about three miles. I don't know. We'll have to decide. The tide's not low till like five in the afternoon. Stand by. We'll see you later.
the most important thing. Jack the carnivore. I better turn some lights on. I got my TV dinner all chopped up, ready to go. Applesauce. You got to turn the TV on. I mean, it's on. I got to turn the volume up. We'll see you tomorrow. Good luck to everybody.